Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a closer look what a Bode plot looks like for a simple zero. So here we have a very simplified equation for the transfer function 1 plus s over z to the n power. Now n means the number of simple zeros. Now in this case we let n equals 1 and so it's simply going to look like 1 plus j omega over 20. Let z equals 20. So z is the location of the zero as the frequency of omega. So now let's take a look at the phase plot. For the simple zero, where we start at omega equals 20, notice then the phase goes from zero all the way to 90 degrees by the time omega is 10 times the value of omega being 20 or 200. So reach a phase angle of 90 degrees by the time we reach omega being 10 times the original value when we divert from the zero slope on the phase angle. Now for the double zero, notice again, it begins at omega equals 100. It goes all the way to omega equals 10 times 100 or 1000. But now the phase angle will be twice the 90 degrees because we have a double zero. So we go from zero to 180 degrees. I know I'm kind of out of the plot here. We go from zero to 180 degrees when we have a double zero. All in the distance, uh, the omega from omega equals 100 to omega equals 1000. 10 times the point where the zero, the zero, uh, <laughs> the simple zero starts. So you can see how the slope in the magnitudes is affected by the number of zeros that we have and the phase angle difference where it starts and where it ends and the amount of the change depending upon if you have a single zero or we have a double zero. And that is how we draw the Bode plot for simple zeros.